Um, my name is Erin Papa. Um, I'm an assistant professor of educational studies at Rhode Island College, and I'm coming from class right now, but this is really important to me, so I wanted to be here, so thank you for waiting for me. <laughs> and I urge you to finally support this bill. It's been too many years um, in the making, and we have a lot of people waiting, waiting for this um, house to be on the right side. Um, my family has been in this state for many generations, um, and like many of you, I'm a descendant of immigrants who came here for a better life, started businesses, contributed to our state's economy, and when they came, the process to becoming a U.S. resident was nothing more than stepping off a boat. Today, the process is much more complex, often preventing highly educated and skilled doctors, workers, laborers, lawyers, other, other folks from fully contributing and realizing their potential contributions to our state and its economy and society. Um, but this bill is really not about immigration. I don't know what was discussed today, but I know this comes up every year. Um, as state level legislators, you don't have the power or the authority to make immigration related decisions. <coughs> Um, but you do have the power and authority to ensure that all Rhode Islanders can travel safely from home to work, to school, to wherever they need to be each day, whether that's you or me or and one of our undocumented friends and neighbors that needs to take their kids to school and get um, the injury to our economy. You do have the power and authority and I think the responsibility to ensure that we can all travel safely each day. So these are um, this would grant driving privileges to working Rhode Islanders, taxpaying Rhode Islanders who've been in the state for decades, most of them. Um, and they're contributing to our state in a variety of different ways. And I think that it's about time that we made this happen. Connecticut and Vermont have laws like this in place. New Hampshire House just passed similar legislation. Colorado took our bill a few years ago and passed it in one session. What is he waiting for? <coughs> yeah. is working on it. So I think they passed it. I think someone else Maybe they did. I, mi I missed that one. I don't know. I've been watching. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to check that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know in the past, I don't know if they've come this year, the state police, the DMV, insurance companies are all in support of this. Um, so it doesn't really make any sense to wait any longer. Um, <coughs> push to get this to a vote um, and give us. I just want to let you know that we have a letter from the governor in support, um, a letter from the state police in support, mm -hmm. a letter from the general treasurer in support, a letter from the mayor of Providence in support. So, so they're here. Have a vote this year. They're here in the paper. Let's have a vote this year. <laughs> <laughs> 